What up players, it's Warboss Tail up in this mood. Today is part one of how to paint an Empire Knight of the White Wolf. So let me show you what he looks like. Um, hope you like this Warboss tutorial. It goes pretty smoothly for the beginning part. And then, um, and then we have a special guest star make a cameo appearance, his first and last cameo appearance in my videos. And um, in order to see who that is, you'll just have to wait for about halfway through it when um, I almost lose my marbles. Alright, so uh, join us back again tomorrow when we will get on with the highlighting and finish this guy up. Okay kids, let's get started. First we're going to use our Talarn Flesh, we're going to ride it to the wheels fall off. And um, I'm starting with this because uh, there's only really one flesh exposed skin part of this model. And that's the face. In fact, you don't even need this if you're not doing a Knight of the White Wolf model. Because, um, like the Knight's Panther, Knights of the Blazing Sun, most of them have closed face helmets, so I don't really need to worry about this part, but uh, these guys like to ride with the wind blowing and their mohawk and beards. Uh, speaking of this, <laughs> this model when I was gluing it on and trying to shave off the, um, the mold lines my hobby knife cut off his right ear thought it was a piece of flash and um, so I was like off with it and then I shaved it and, and I was like ooh it's his ear so I'm gonna just kinda <laughs> paint it up like like it's a, a recent wound that's scabbing over and um, yeah, hopefully it'll look awesome. So nice even strokes because we're using these old foundation paints to start. Talarn flesh is a tricky one. You want to get a little bit of water in there and um, make sure that it's smooth with no brush strokes, no clumps. So nice smooth even paint job. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint his hair, beard, all that stuff, Kelvin Brown. This is another one that's a foundation paint, so you want to take care that you get a little bit of water on it. Or use your wet palette, or get a wet palette, whichever one you've got. Now you might think that the flesh is a little too vibrant and too pink um, for for my Chaos Marauder that I'm going to be showing you a tutorial for pretty soon. I actually use Deneb Stone for the skin color. And you can do the same for, for these guys because they're, I guess Middenheim is supposed to be really really unbearably cold winter all the time kind of thing. Um, almost like the north, the chaos wastes. So you could have like very pale skinned fighters. I kind of see, um, now that I think about it, Middenheim reminds me of the kingdom in the uh, Game of Thrones story. Which I can't remember now for the, for the life of me off the top of my head. You know, the one that Boromir is the king of. Actually, Master, Boromir was a character in Lord of the Rings. He wasn't in the Game of Thrones series. Quite aware of that, Igor. That was, uh, that was a joke. Oh. Just a little bit. Okay, uh, next we're going to be painting his armor in chainmail. Now if your guy's armor does not come down over the sleeve, if the sleeves are not covered then that's that's fine. You can paint the sleeve 
uh, the same color as uh, the red of the horse, which is Mephiston red. Um, but some of these guys have arms that are completely covered in this plate mail. So, so either way, both of those work. He's just going to be painting all of the armor, all of the armor in chain mail. And his hammer too, while you're at it. Don't worry about the gold, just paint over all of the armor. The gold will pick out in just a minute. I don't have any experience with the new uh, metallics when I was picking up the new paints from my from my store. I just said, you know, I'm just gonna get the the colors. My metallics are still my metallics are still good. feet. Yeah, we're gonna make sure that his, uh, his gleaming plate mail is nice and shiny so he can Get that beautiful armor save. Yeah, on his right arm, he does have some of his tunic underneath, so we'll we'll leave that leave that gray for now. And just like my horse, just like all my models, I primered. I use a spray primer for my models. It's the duplicate color matte gray spray primer. It's invariably new viewers always ask how come I don't spray prime my models. Um, going back to the Calton Brown for just a second, we can paint the straps of his breastplate. Actually, I should have waited for this because we have to paint the um, the tunic red first, but that's okay. It's all right. It's okay. So we're going to be using now the fist and red. In this step, we're going to be painting any of the any of the sleeves, any of the the tunic you can see under the under the armor. I've got this wolf cloak on, but if I didn't have, if I didn't um, glue this wolf cloak on, then you could get to, you know, the back part of his tunic pretty decently. Yes, yeah, so while I'm filming this, somebody just suggested that I keep doing my, or a bunch of you suggested that I keep doing my tour of the Empire videos, and I think I'm going to. Um, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to because there's so much other stuff like the Stir River Patrol, um, Sylvania, Solind, like a bunch of kingdoms that aren't in the White Dwarf, either because they're old or um, maybe regiments of renown. I could do some regiments of renown, show you how I would convert up a, a vampire hunter and uh, and his and his posse of militiamen. Although you don't really need to now um, now that you've got the witch hunter models. Speaking of which, gotta unbox the witch hunter model and warrior priest and all the new goodies. So there's a lot that I can do yet, which I'm very happy with. Okay, uh, we're gonna use a new color now. Rackarth flesh, which is supposed to be Denip Stone's replacement. But I think that's a load of hooey. <clears throat> I'm going to paint that on the inside of the cloak. Let's see if we can get 
get a good focus there, Igor, if you please. Master? Yes, Igor. Where is that big scary fella who rides the griffin? Oh, uh, the Emperor, Karl Franz, couldn't be here today. Why not? He said something about uh, saving the old world from a bunch of uh, grave guard and vampire counts. Or was it Tomb Kings? Because if it's Tomb Kings, they don't use Grave Guard, they use Tomb Guard. And I said that to him when he was leaving. I was like, Are you fighting Tomb Guard? Your battle today? Is it, is it against a regiment of Tomb Guard? Like, it's the Atum God. Alright, so on the back of the wolf, wah, 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 we're gonna use uh, Old Citadel Color Adeptus Battle Gray to paint the wolf. Base coat it, anyways. about to run out of time so we'll do a little bit more and then then I'll jump ahead when the clip cuts all right there we go so our guys base coats are done let him dry for a bit and then we'll come back and we'll start on shading and uh, we'll do the golds and then get to shading. Okay, uh, the only thing I did since the last clip was I painted the tunic underneath the, uh, the strap right behind his, <coughs> under his breastplate right next to his head. Couldn't do that at the angle that I was, this camera is so I, I did that while this thing was uploading. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint on the gold. We'll need Balthazar gold for this. And we're just going to paint in any gold detailing on the armor and weapons that you want. There's some gold braiding on this chest plate I'm gonna hit. I'm also gonna hit these spikes holding the cloak to our guy's back. Also do some parts in the hammer, like, or maybe we'll do the spikes on the gauntlet here. What can we do for the hammer? Hmm. I'm just really just kind of looking at it with my eye and seeing. Okay, where does it look like gold would fit? If you know your uh, medieval armor, and you're like, oh, that's totally inaccurate, you wouldn't paint gold there, and, uh, I'm sorry. Let's give him one gold piece of armor there. Woo! 
Awesome. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to paint gold right down the two sides of the front. Because that's how they have it in this hardcore, hardcover Empire book. Hardcore! Da -na 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 -na. Hardcore hardcover. I'm gonna let that dry. While that's drying, we're going to start painting the uh, washes. I don't have the new Raiklin. Actually, do I have the new Raiklin flesh shade? Let's see. That's about it. No, I got the new sepia, but I don't have the new ogre and flesh. So we're just gonna use our good old-fashioned ogre and flesh. If I can find it, Igor, yes, master. Please be so good as to fetch me an ogre and flesh pot, would you, sir? Yes, master, right away, master. The door. Oh, another thing I also did is I painted the back of his seat red with um, Mephiston red. I didn't know what that was, but it just didn't look right silver. Painting this guy's head now. to move all this stuff over so I can get him in frame. Um, um, uh, next washes, next washes. Oh, the reds. Cara Bird Crimson is the wash we're going to use for painting the reds. So this is his shirt, his tunic, and his little saddle seat. Start with the saddle seat first. Nuln Oil, or the new Beda Black. Uh, where did I put it? There we go. Nuln Oil. This is going to be going on all the armor and the wolf. Pelt. Just the back. Sorry about that, players, but I hate cockroaches. Is that a problem where you guys are? It's a huge problem here in Hawaii. They get like so big, and they fly around, and then they look at you with their beady little eyes. 
Oh my gosh, I hate cockroaches. They always seem to know where you are. I hate that. It'd be like right across the room, like on a wall, and you're like, oh good, cockroach is like all the way across the room. And then you turn around, and then it's like sitting on your shoulder, like, hey buddy, can I borrow a dollar? And you're like, ah. At least uh, in my house, that's true. Ah, you came back. You came back. You came back. And I crash you. Ah. 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 My mortis engine. Gross. Oh, I got mortis engine on my cockroach. Oh, I got cockroach on my mortis engine. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's disgusting. Ooh. I'm gonna glue him. I'm gonna glue him on onto the mortis engine. He's gonna be a part of the model now. That's so disgusting. Eesh. Yeah, so if anybody's looking for a roommate, contact me at warbostaystudios.com. Because I flippin' hate cockroaches. I wrote an essay when I was in college called I Hate Cockroaches. It was the best thing I've ever done. Oh man. And they make that noise when they're scurrying across the room, across like paper. They're walking across like plastic and paper and... Uh, I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna throw up. Oh my goodness. Still dead? You're still dead, right, cockroach? Right? Have to hit you again? Yeah. Like one of its legs is moving. Yeah. 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 Oh, it broke in half. Oh. Oh. Oh, gross. I love Hawaii. But I hate cockroaches. Okay, um, we're going to shade this guy's beard and hair as well. With <laughs> oh my gosh, they terrify me with non oil. So we're giving him this very dark looking brown beard rather than making him blonde like the. Uh, like the Norse skins. Cockroach. You better still be dead. I think if cockroaches could talk, they would talk like that, um, like that Muppet, that one, the prawn, like the Latino prawn. I see a little silhouette of a clam. All right, special guest star in today's tutorial. We had to bump the emperor, he couldn't be here, but... Sammy the cockroach. I'll let this dry, come back to part two when we um, highlight and finish this guy off. I hate cockroaches.